Today we're delving deeper into teaching number three in our study of Second Peter. The tide and the riptide of public opinion is extremely strong. Culture influences in ways that we don't even recognize. Some behaviors or ideas have become so familiar or part of the background of our lives that we don't even notice them. We, we don't evaluate them. We don't discern them. We swallow Morpheus's blue pill and believe the fiction that media and, and entertainment and government and our celebrities bombard us with. One thing that wakes us up from our slumber is that list of virtues that we've been considering. Now, Peter has written out a list of behaviors that are in keeping with the will of God. Good character, spiritual understanding, alert discipline, passionate patience, warm friendliness, and a generous life. Now, the way you build these Jesus ways upon that foundation of faith requires the desire to do so. It requires your intentionality. Now, what you need to do is ask the Holy Spirit to show you traits that you need to work on. And then, you know what? Read over the lists. You may discover a trait that you think, you know what? I, I really need to improve in this area. Now, what I want you to do is think of several scenarios in which you can exhibit this trait. And as you think of these one at a time, imagine that you're in that situation. And you see yourself responding in a way that demonstrates that Christ-like characteristic. So you're, you're prepping your mind to react, or actually be proactive, to certain situations. Next, confide that desire to change with that special person who can hold you accountable. Finally, just put it into practice. And then frequently evaluate how well you're doing. Now, this, this is a lifetime thing you're going to be doing, okay? It's not a one and done. So just, just keep at it. Keep at it. Everything you need to make the changes has already been given to you. All that's lacking is your determination to build well. And even that, God will give it to you if you just ask.